common that people see with retaining wall on boundaries is getting neighboring consent. Now, in this particular project, there's an existing fence on the boundary, as you can see. Now, if we wanted to build the retaining wall right on the boundary, we would have to get neighboring consent to put the footings inside the neighbor's property. Uh, because um, concrete sleeper retaining walls have 450 mil footings, that would mean that we would have to have footings inside the neighbor's property by 150 mil if we wanted the face of the retaining wall on the boundary. Now this um, is an issue of contention in a few different councils. Um, some councils have asked us to remove retaining walls when the footings for the retaining wall is in the adjacent property. So in this particular case, we always ask our clients um, if they would like us to build the retaining wall on the boundary, right up to the boundary, or they'd like us to have the footing right up against the boundary to, to make sure that there's no problems with planned ceiling at the end of the project. Now, as you can see, um, this is a one into two subdivision. and uh, We've got retaining wall happening down the center boundary of the property. So this retaining wall is fully encapsulated in um, the block on the right hand side. So that face is because the developer actually owns both blocks. So in this case we don't have to have the retaining walls offset. But on the two side boundaries, as you can see, the retaining walls are actually offset from the boundary. So the developer loses maybe 150mm, which is not really much in the grand scheme of things and won't affect their building pad. But it is something to consider when getting designs done for retaining walls. Now, Another thing that Pembroke offers is fences on top of retaining walls. So you can see that we've actually installed brackets on top of this retaining wall. Um, these brackets need to be installed uh, before sleepers go in. Um, so it's important to um, decide if you want a fence on top of a retaining wall prior to uh, getting the, to building it. Because if you try and do the, the fence afterwards, it's, it's, a lot, it's a lot harder. Now behind retaining walls, always need to install um, this product here which is called geofabric. Now the geofabric you have gravel and then you also have what's called uh, aggy line. Um, this prevents hydrostatic pressure building up against the retaining walls um, and uh, it also creates an area for water to drain. If you can see if you look over here you can see the end of the geofabric um, sticking out of the retaining wall end. Now generally uh, concrete sleeper retaining walls are, have 2 meter spacings. Um, you can also get 1.5 meter spacings and you can get a variety of different finishes. Um, in this particular case we've used the smooth grey which is the cheapest but there's wood finishes, um, all kinds of different textures so depending on your requirements for your project you can choose a different option. Um, yeah, You can also see that in this particular project we've had to fill. Um, so again we've got earthworks happening much like many of our projects. And this earthworks is required um, to be done um, so that the, the blocks are flat and level so that when people come along to build a house, the ground is ready for, the, for that to happen and no additional earthworks needs to happen. Great, thank you.